Welcome to Managing Your Stress and Anxiety, Session 3 of the Learning Series Living Well with COPD by Respi Plus. Living Well with COPD is a comprehensive self-management education programme which successfully improves people's lives. In this session, we will look at the strong link between your feelings of stress and anxiety and how you are able to breathe. We will look at what causes this and what can be done to alleviate its debilitating effects. Let me introduce myself as I will be the voice accompanying you through this exciting series. My name is Becky Zuko, and as an exercise physiologist, I have had the opportunity to help many people with chronic disease improve their quality of life through exercise rehabilitation. The development of this learning course was made possible through a non-restricted, educational grant from AstraZeneca Canada to Respi Plus, a non-profit organisation which directs the continuous development of the Living Well with COPD programme. In this session, we will help you understand the relationship between COPD and stress anxiety and examine ways to control your reactions. Today, we will discuss how to identify the stresses in your life and understand your reactions to them. Breaking the anxiety breathlessness cycle. Being more assertive about stating your needs. Relaxing your mind and body through relaxation techniques. And living a healthier life. Living well with COPD means knowing what kind of things make you anxious, how well you respond, and how better to cope with stress. Stresses are events or situations in everyday life that require us to make an adaptation or change. Stress refers to the physical and psychological reactions that a person experiences when faced with stresses. You can react in different ways when faced with stressful situations. Your reactions will have an impact over the way you will cope with them. Fear is a normal reaction to a present danger. The symptoms of fear are increased heart rate, shallow or rapid breathing, which is similar to the shortness of breath in COPD, sweating and muscle tension. Here is one example of a fear reaction. If you suddenly become seriously ill and you are unable to breathe, your fear response could be to call an ambulance and to get to the hospital as soon as possible. Anxiety is a reaction that involves constantly worrying and anticipating stressful situations. The symptoms of anxiety are similar to those of fear. Here is one example of an anxiety reaction. A person suffering from COPD has had a very severe episode of shortness of breath during an outing. He may begin to feel anxious whenever he thinks about going out and may even begin to avoid all outings. A panic attack is an exaggerated, irrational and often sudden fear and anxiety reaction. Learning to manage your stress allows you to function at a higher level and to feel more satisfied with life despite the problems that you may be facing. Understanding your own anxiety response will help you better control your reaction to a stressful situation. The main symptom of COPD is shortness of breath. Shortness of breath can cause anxiety and even panic attacks. Anxiety makes you breathe faster, which increases your shortness of breath, and as a result, you become more anxious. Many COPD sufferers choose to stop doing activities because of their fear of breathlessness. The less you do, the less you are in shape. You will experience more fatigue, shortness of breath, and anxiety. This is called the anxiety breathlessness cycle. When you have COPD, nothing will make your shortness of breath go away completely. However, regularly practicing the techniques shown in this session will help you cope better with your anxiety and shortness of breath. Here are some suggestions to break the anxiety breathlessness cycle. Recognize your fears. Understand what makes you anxious. And that's the first step in controlling your reaction. Do not be too hard on yourself. Do not think of yourself as weak 
for being afraid. Examine and investigate your fears. Some of the beliefs you grew up with may be causing your fears. Ask yourself, are they based on things that have happened or that you may fear happening? Do not worry about future events. Anxious people tend to dwell constantly on possible negative outcomes and expect the worst. Try to stay focused on the present. Instead of worrying, plan your actions in advance. You will be less anxious knowing that you are prepared to deal with a stressful situation. Do things you enjoy. Reserve room for pleasurable activities in your day. Try to solve one problem at a time. Trying to make too many changes all at once will make you anxious. Let yourself make mistakes. For most problems there are a number of possible solutions. If you do not succeed at one thing, try again. Take a different approach if needed. Maintain a positive attitude. Your mental health will improve along with your problem-solving ability. A negative outlook can block your ability to think clearly and prevent you from finding solutions to your problems. Use humour. Having COPD is certainly not fun, but being able to laugh at yourself can help reduce stress and create a positive atmosphere. Try not to deal with everything by yourself. Your friends, family and health professionals can help you learn to live with COPD. Who helps you the most to cope with your disease? Are there any health services or associations in your area that could help you? Remember, talk about your problems. Do not let them accumulate. Do not hesitate to ask for help and express yourself. Despite being able to manage stress, fear and anxiety better, there will be days when you feel that you have had enough. Take it in your stride. This is a normal feeling that you will overcome. Learning to relax will also give you more physical and mental energy. What can relaxation do for you? The goal is to relax your body and quiet your mind. The benefits are to help you feel more in control of your emotions, slow down your breathing, decrease muscle tension and reduce stress and anxiety. People can picture different images one way to think of them is as mental movies running through your mind. These images can be of people, places, things or accomplishments, and they can be positive or negative. What do you think will happen if you picture yourself as being afraid and hopeless? Negative, stressful thoughts use up energy and make you feel tired. What do you think will happen if you picture yourself as being strong and capable? you will probably feel happier and more confident. Now let us create your own positive image using a visualization technique, positive thinking. In this technique, you focus your attention on a positive mental image. Concentrate on a positive image. Begin to relax. Use all your senses to make your image seem more real. End this visualization exercise by retaining this image. Do this exercise once a day. As you will have learnt, visualization is a form of relaxation. It can help you maintain a positive attitude. However, if you find your mind constantly straying to negative thoughts or images, the following visualization technique can help, and you can use this technique in real time. Negative thought stopping technique. Recognize that you are dwelling on something negative. Imagine a big stop sign and tell yourself stop. Switch the negative thought to something pleasant and relaxing. Repeat these steps as needed until the negative thoughts go away. Now let us try a relaxation technique called deep breathing and positive thinking. This exercise is meant to calm and refresh your mind and body. Make yourself comfortable, either by lying down or sitting on a chair. 
you can use a relaxation tape or CD with this exercise. Now close your eyes. Take a deep breath. Imagine a warm sensation filling your body. Continue to breathe regularly and deeply. Feel the warmth flowing through the tips of your fingers, in your hands, in your arms. Now feel the warmth filling your neck, head, chest and stomach. As you relax, feel the warmth reaching your hips, thighs, legs and feet. Now your entire body feels relaxed. Your body is resting comfortably. Keep breathing deeply and regularly. Let your mind wander and imagine yourself wandering through a meadow. Take a deep breath. Smell the crisp grass and wild flowers. Look at the flowers across the grass. Feel the grass on your legs. Breathe deeply. Fill your lungs with clean air. Let all the tension leave your body when you breathe out. Feel a soft wind. Feel calm and peaceful. Hear a bird singing in the distance. Feel the peacefulness and beauty of the scenery. You should feel calm, happy, peaceful and relaxed. You cannot control what happens to you, but you can control how you choose to react to it. There will be situations in everyday life that will challenge you, such as climbing stairs in public places or simply walking down the street and trying to have a casual conversation with someone that doesn't know you have CPD and doesn't need to. Try to maintain a positive and flexible approach to life. Identify the situations that can cause you stress. Deal directly with any emotions that may arise and move forward. Keep up your commitment to building a positive attitude. In summary, with practice and patience, you will succeed. You are now ready to do your daily activities. You feel rested, refreshed and confident. You know how to relax and keep a positive attitude. You now have some strategies that you can use to deal with stressful situations in real time. You can now manage better your COPD. We hope you feel more confident in managing your stress and anxiety and you will be able to continue to apply the strategies and techniques discussed today. We suggest you try practicing these strategies both during times of calm as well as in front of situations that may cause stress. To learn more about today's topics, consult the learning module Managing Stress and Anxiety. Available for free at livingwellwithcopd.com We would like to acknowledge all the professionals and patients that have contributed their time and thoughts in order to enrich the Living Well with COPD programme, especially Mr Bill Nash. Their dedication and help have allowed us to continue enhancing the lives of people living with this disease and their loved ones. Thank you.